Good morning everybody, good day to you and in this video I wanted to show you a simple dinner like the way people maybe hundreds or thousands of years ago may have eaten their food. This is just basically steamed or water cooked broccoli, no cooked oils which are aggravating to our liver and gallbladder and disturbing to our body. And here I have simply some organic butter beans with no added salt, simply in water. Here we can see the butter beans. Just simple food. So we're gonna have this with no no salt or pepper or nothing. With that, some simply broccoli, and with some some water lettuce, some iceberg lettuce somewhere, and I maybe add some Bragg's amino acid liquids if I feel like. So usually kept in around here. Nope, not today. Oh, very simple food, like the way our ancestors may have eaten. No fancy stuff, and it's simple and it's easy for your body, and it's real natural food, except for the Bragg's amino acids. If you want to exclude that, it would even be better and simpler. Nothing extravagantly tasty, just simple, real food, designed for the body, easy to digest. No harsh additives or cooked oils or anything like that. And just one word of advice, if you are going to have cooked oils, I do recommend generally having coconut oil. It's supposed to be the oil that's least sort of damaged or changed um, upon cooking and easiest to deal with and to, to, to digest in the body and, or else even to remove from the body if, if any, any unwanted parts. So. My number one suggestion with food would always be to eat and enjoy and appreciate, appreciate especially but to eat, try to eat consciously and to learn to how, learn to know how it affects your body. If if it makes you feel, generally certain foods that aren't too natural or um, fatty or particularly starchy, like potatoes, rice, even or bread, or even less lesser things like sweet potato, squash, corn, and then if you go down the list carrots and stuff, carrots, the more the more up the scale of they are of the starchiness uh, or the more it blocks my nose and sinuses so notice how your body responds to food and cooked oils don't agree with me either so fruits are the most benign foods for me they they help help everybody I think they're the best foods for everybody learn to pick ripe fruits they do not cause a mucus reaction in your body so the number one way to know if a food is good for you is not if it's cooked or raw, because you can have cooked, you can have raw plastic, eating raw concrete or raw wood chippings. But with raw it doesn't denote if it's a human food or not, or you can eat anything. And you can cook, you can eat raw meat and milk, and I don't think that they're even that good for us. It, it's like only if it's organic but if it's definitely not organic it's full of toxins which will create mucus so yeah I was just saying mucus is formed by the body as a reaction to an unwanted substance what is this why do we form it because we want to encapsulate the substance in like a shell a wrapper so it doesn't disturb and hit and affect and touch off and destroy damage or irritate or upset other cells but Mucus, when you have a lot of mucus in your body, enveloping waste and toxins and irritants and pollutants, it's like causes inflammation because that itself is like a big sort of like encapsulator. It's like, do you know when you have like, um, when you get post and there's bubble wrap in the box? There's loads of bubble wrap and just something small. <laughs> so if you had everything, loads and loads and loads and loads of bubble wrap everywhere, it'd be a huge volume. But similarly, mucus or else irritants do cause inflammation and irritation. So, this, so that's the first reason for protection. The number two reason why we envelop something in mucus, which is slippery and slimy, and is because it helps transport it out of our body. It's it's an encapsulator, but it's also the vehicle of transportation out of our body. So, so that's how I know when I eat food that doesn't really optimally agree with me whatsoever. Um, you can call it a mucus forming food. The more mucus forming it is, is the more irritants are problematic that that substances are in the food and therefore the more mucus I'll have to create to protect myself and to transport it out. So 
carrots are low like this type of dinner is low these are starches so these are like a, these are like low to medium level mucus forming foods broccoli is a starchless mucusless vegetable um, fruits are generally mucusless except for the fattier fruits like avocados and maybe durian and stuff so my 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 body's reaction is if I, if I, my my nose my breathing blocks up my sinuses and nose seems to become like stuffed and that's ob and then obviously if you feel tired or drained or sick or need to sleep if you need to sleep that's a bad sign <laughs> so i hope this video has been a little bit of help for you um feel welcome to check out my my channel wall here um to have a look at my playlists on health and raw food and diet as well as my playlist on herbs that changed my life and helped me restore from being from being extremely sick and very unwell and obviously if you need any um i work as a life coach and an author and if you need any help one-to-one -one, i do life coaching of body mind and spirit and emotions so if i can help you emotionally mentally physically or spiritually please do have a look at my website and the links and in my description box below if you've appreciated this video please do share on for other people give us a like and yeah have a look at my links below and any of my other videos that i've created on my way in my main wall lots of playlists on different topics emotional healing and emotional well-being healing from our past lots of free excellent content so hope you enjoyed this video and sending lots of love and blessings to the next video and hope you hope you stay well happy empowered positive strong fit clean and just really deep down hope you just have a happy well life because i've been through the depths of sadness and hurt in my life so i just have a sensitive heart for others and i make these videos for obviously for myself and my family and for everybody in the world to support one another so i hope it's been of help and until next time bye bye and take care